Hi, Adam. Sex addict. Hi, Hi Adam. I am grateful to be sober today. Thanks for letting me share. I'm proud to be your sponsor. Maybe it's fall, maybe suddenly the movies are getting better, but this is a very good week in particular for new movies. And one I want to tell you about that just might be overlooked by some of the bigger, higher profile titles is called Thanks for Sharing. Believe it or not, it's a romantic comedy about sexual addiction. Now, that sounds crazy. I mean, you know, to make a romantic comedy about sex addicts. I have been in recovery for five years. For what? Sex addiction. Isn't that something that guys just say when they get caught cheating? But this one pulls it off. It's from Stuart Blumberg. He's done a great job here, and now he's taking the directing reins as well. And what he does is take some very unlikely material for a movie and makes it work. It really revolves around three men. They're played by Mark Ruffalo, Tim Robbins, and Josh Gad. The three of them are in this 12-step program for sex addicts. They each have a background and you know a whole backstory that's kind of a little scary, especially when you're trying to start a new relationship, which all of them are doing in one way or another. Mark Ruffalo has met Gwyneth Paltrow in Central Park, and that's all she wrote. He really wants this to work, but he's afraid to say what's happened in his past. What is going on? I feel like you're starting to pull away from me. I mean, am I crazy? And then Josh Gad, he's just looking for love wherever he can find it, and he hooks up with Alicia Moore. You may not know the name Alicia Moore. You probably know her by her other name, which is Pink the pop star, and this is her film debut, and she is tough and wise and funny. She's got a real future in movies. I was really impressed with her in this film. He wants me to come over. Dee Dee, don't. Where are you? Outside his place. Where is it? Tell me! Damn, dude, you just got all Jack Bauer on me. I was impressed with all of these actors. The story's intertwined. At points, it gets a little confusing. It tries to be a drama when, it's, when it sets out to be a comedy. It mixes those tones, but overall, this is a funny, touching, moving movie. It's really a sensational comedy, uh, and one I highly recommend if you're looking for adult comedies this fall. Check this one out. It may not be around as long as some of the other movies. It's a harder sell, but beautifully handled by Stuart Blumberg, and I, I recommend it. It's a go.